Has your school lost its way? Do you know how to fight? Do you train UFC? On this episode of Open Mac Chronicles. All right, you guys, welcome back to Open Mac Chronicles 1865 Rod here. We're going back at you guys, as always, every week, every Wednesday. In Open Mac Chronicles. We've got Schaefer in the house. What's up, everybody? Schaefer in the house. What up? Yeah, buddy. Man, we chilling. We had a we had a good week. I had I had a good week. Did you have a good week? I had a pretty decent week, man. Yeah, dude, it was kind of fun. So we were uh, we were teaching some classes, you know, Wednesday, Friday, and all that good stuff. And we were starting to get some hype about the possibility of adding in some more combatives, right? Um, you want to you want to paint a picture for them and how we how we decided this? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I started thinking about it. It's like. I don't know if the schools sometimes lose their way. I don't want to say that. It might be a little <laughs> extreme, but you know, a lot of schools are just really doing a lot of sport, 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 which I love sport, man. That like if, if I had my way, I would just do all sport. I get it. But the flip side is I don't want to drift too far away from the roots of jujitsu, man. It is a self-defense. And remember on Wednesday night we had, we were teaching the class and we're like, how many of you guys, you know, joined for self-defense? I think everybody raised their hand. Absolutely. Not, Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think there was one guy that said, "Hey, I joined to you know do sport competition." I want to be the best uh, Baron Bolo yeah. practitioner in the world. Nah, it didn't happen. You like know why that. I did that though? I think it was because I was teaching a move. I know what it was. I was teaching a, a defense to the mount escape. Yes. And there's that one escape that's it's legit for for uh, street self defense. Right. But I'm like, do not do this in jujitsu class. You will get mauled. Right, right, right. You'll like it sure. backfires yeah, on I you. I remember that one. There's yeah, some so. moves that are like that. They're great for street, but horrible for sport. And this is one of those moves. So then I start thinking. I'm like, wait a second. Maybe we should just do some more self defense. For sure. You know. And when they all kind of gave the thumbs up for it, we ran it, and it was good. Right. It's like. The Gracie Combatives, I remember that's pretty much how I started, right? Yeah. I mean, it, uh, over at Hassett's, you know, he he makes sure everybody is, like, well-versed in their combatives. It's just part of the training. Um, in the beginning, hell, it wasn't even so structured to the point where it is now. Now he's like, before you can even start going into your regular classes, you have to run through – you have to do a certain oh, amount of crazy combatives class. Yeah, that's not bad, and it's not bad, you know. But he also has a big enough school where he can pull that off. Yeah, right. It's like I, I could get it where if you have a smaller establishment, you maybe don't have as many guys, and you're like, well, all of you can't come in, and you got to do combatives first, and then you're like, oh shit, there's only like ten people ever. <laughs> you know what I think it is too, because our school did teach combatives a lot. Like I know all the crazy combatives. We've done it multiple times, but what happens is, because Gus teaches it, right? Right. We'll do combatives, and then, you know, maybe do it for like six months, and they get kind of drift away. Yeah. Then you get new students, you just kind of forget about it. You go back to sport. So it's what it's like you have to have a constant reminder, oh, yeah, it's, let's get back on our combatives, because they kind of get, they fall back on that back burner sometimes. Right. Which is why a structured approach, I think, would work best. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could actually, you could actually map out a combatives uh, program for your school, and and people would be able to like see where they can have like the onboarding and oh, yeah. their progression and then even well never you'll never get out of combatives but like you get your onboard you go through your progression and then you'll see when the next set of onboarding yeah. comes in and maybe you always have like the stand up how to how to get the fight exactly. to the ground type thing or or vice versa get up if you need to get away like maybe that's something that's taught more often than all the other combative things, you know, that way people can always get in and they'll say, Oh, I know how to get to the fight to the ground. Yeah. And yeah. now I go for Kimuras or exactly. arm attacks or leg attacks or whatever. And you can kind of just keep that party going on a rotating schedule. Yeah. Cause I'm not one for trying to map out an entire fight. That's kind of no, extreme, but crazy. I think that you should definitely have a game plan if you want to get the fight to the ground. And when I was, I watched those, something, you ever see those backyard fights? It's kind right, of funny right. On YouTube? Hell yeah. I, saw, I was watching one. It was like a jujitsu guy against a boxer. I'm, and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, yeah, what would I do for my takedown? Which one would I do? And I really didn't know for sure. I know that if I was in that situation, I would, you know, I, I would, I have takedowns I would do, but yeah. I don't know which one. I don't, I don't have like a go to. Right, and you right. should have a go to, a solid one that's like, man, I drill this. This is my go to takedown for an untrained guy. I'm talking the untrained gotcha. yes, guy. Yes, exactly. So that's kind of where it started. Yeah, because um, I know one of the things is you point out untrained, right? Oh, yeah, untrained. So 
when I was teaching the class Friday night, one of the <laughs> first things I told everybody, I said, listen, this will be effective, but this is not going to make you freaking some UFC champ. Yeah. This is not, you're not going to be like, hey, dude, I train UFC now or no shit like that. You're yeah. not going to be like, I can whoop anybody's ass. I don't I don't care if they've been boxing for 15 years or or Muay Thai. For, I was like, nah, you can get no, your it's not for that. Yeah. whole head kicked That's off different. if you yeah. try that, right? It's like, this is what I say. This is for your drunk uncle. You need to take him down, control him. This is for some joker jumps on your ass in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Walmart parking lot. <laughs> bad things yeah, happen in man, Walmart bad parking lot. Bad things lots. happen in Walmart. The people at Walmart can be crazy sometimes. Or, or home, we use Home Depot a lot, too. Get some angry and, construction and, guys. Right, and then you get her, or, um, honestly, at a bar. I mean, hell, some people drink, and when they drink, they drink at bars sometimes, yeah. and Sometimes bars turn into shit shows. So, yeah. like, you might need to be able to quickly defend yourself. And if you only look at it from a sports lens. Exactly. I mean, you're, you're not going to remember, oh, shit, this guy can just punch me in yep. the face. Because you've built like, that muscle memory. And yeah. so you want to bear and bowl with somebody. You're like, wait, what? Oh, man, right? Wait, what? <laughs> right. Now, I, I would, if I had to choose, would I rather a sports guy or an untrained guy oh fight another God. untrained guy, the sports guy. Still maul him, yeah. 100%. Because even with natural instinct, hopefully, you'll know to cover your face. Maybe after that first time, maybe once he knocks your tooth out, you go, oh, shit. Well, yeah, you might eat one. Like, because any yeah. good sports guy has been through the combatives. They all know how to fight, basically. You might you might have to, like, oh, I crap. I don't know that I'm that's actually, true, man. i got to close my distance now. This is actually a fight. Right now, we had a guest on. Remember, she, had, she, I was like, she said, like, she didn't, ever, she didn't do the combatives. Really? She was sports oh. and only sports. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And so there are places that it's you're right. Just you're right. Sport. I do see that too because sometimes the places that do the self defense, that's all they do. Like right. they don't do it. It's like one they or the other. Yeah. And you can't sell that. Now. It's too. Yeah, it doesn't take years that. and years to learn the basics nah. of self defense. It takes. I like remember six months. Hassan used to always tell us. He's like, look, dude. He's like, after after six months you're good, or you're so good of combatives. You know more than most people you'll ever like yeah. run across on just some exactly out of pocket fight where nobody's really it's just a bunch of shit talking and then somebody throws a haymaker. Well, it goes it goes back to like what you were saying. Like, and if you're a blue belt, you're good enough, dude. Really, for self defense, which is, which is why people quit. <laughs> and, and you're right because <laughs> you're like, hey, I learned enough. I can beat most people. And but anything right. after blue belt is kind of overkill for street. You oh, don't need yeah. to be like a black belt. You wouldn't even really use those extra because you have a lot of sport moves that you're probably going to be. Well, you know what's funny? Watching those videos where a black belt is like at a diner or something like that. And hell, I think even Ryan Hall might have been. Ryan Hall, he yeah. just did a quick double leg. Yeah. It's like the, so does a he'll simple take move. you down. He'll hold you. He'll control yeah. you. He's having a full conversation with the rest yeah. of the crowd. He's like, no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I got this handled. And like I saw this, I saw this other guy. It was a very similar situation. He was like, "This guy tried to attack me. I'm trying to tell him to calm down. I'm just holding him. I'm just oh yeah, holding I think I saw him. Yeah. Please come. Blah blah yeah. blah. He's like, "No, nobody, no help. Just, just yeah. stay back." <laughs> he said, "I'm a jujitsu black belt." That's awesome. <laughs> ah, that was fucking funny. <laughs> but That's awesome. It happens, right? But combatives, man, I think that... <laughs> It'd be cool if the guy said, I'm a jiu-jitsu blue belt. Yeah. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> it's like, I got this, people. You got to like, pull out a badge or some yeah. shit. It's got a little freaking certificate. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's necessary, I think, to teach combatives because it does give a different layer of com uh, yep. like confidence and competence, right? Because you're like, okay, what if somebody does swing at me? It's like, yeah, that's not what we normally do in jiu-jitsu, but... But what happens when a guy does throw a fucking a sloppy, you know, overhand right? Or yeah. What if, what if he tries to kick you? What if he tries to, to – what if he – a bear hug? I mean, technically, that's wrestling. Let's say some shit yeah. that's just not grappling. You know, he's he's trying to strike. Yeah. Well, you need to avoid getting knocked the fuck out. You know what I mean? If you get knocked out, you're going to have a bad day because now you're completely at that person's, you know, whim. Yeah. You can, he can do whatever he wants to you. See, that's the difference. I think – I think if it was like any type of sport you did to, I'm like on cruise control, right? Yeah. It's what is it? Unconscious competent. Yes. That's the highest yep. level. You just you're you're just doing it. You're not thinking Hell about yeah. it. But if it would be like a street fight to get that takedown, it probably would be I'm competent, but I would be a conscious competent. I'd have to be like, okay, let me think about this. Let me uh -huh. get this right. Let me. What am I going to do? So I, it's better to be unconscious competent in both of them. Well, and also 
You don't even need to think about it. Right. And, and But a lot of times, a lot of fights, it's not like two guys stand up and say, are you ready to engage oh, in yeah. mutual combat? Yeah. The it's guy just fucking that. swings at you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you don't really have time for it that. It actually would be better because then you just click in. Right. You're good. Unless you get hit. Good. And then you got to be like, oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah. Can I take a hit? So that's, I mean, so anybody who's watching, just, just as a heads up. Occasionally, we're going to be smacking each other, so just be ready for that. You're going to you're gonna think, hey, what if I start putting them in this uh, in this move right here? And then the guy just reaches up and he smacks you in the head. I'm like, well, keep this in mind. That little smack in the head was actually a punch. Yeah. So now, you know, <laughs> what do they say? If you're a black belt, you get punched in the face. You're a brown belt, you get hit again. You're <laughs> a purple belt. He hits you a third time. Now you're back to blue belt. And you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. He's like, you know what? These these. It's these like levels are dropping off. It's like that video game, huh? When you're losing the energy, <laughs> yeah. your little character gets weaker and weaker. <laughs> oh yeah, your little your little energy, yeah, your your health meter, yeah, your health meter starts going down. So I think that's a good plan because look at Friday night we normally have kind of like an open mat or we'll teach like one or it's not an open mat. Let me correct that. It's normally one or two basic moves like fundamentals, and then we go into rowing. So it's mostly rowing, right? Oh yeah. But so now I think what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna change it to where we're gonna do the same one or two or three moves, but it's gonna be self defense. It'll be takedowns or whatever. I like it. And yeah, and, I, and I'd like to I'd like to start it to where we talked about this. Where do the fight start? It starts standing up. So let's start takedowns first. Then let's start. What if you do a takedown? You can't get it. The guy's maybe he's a super big guy. You can't get around him. Let's do some weird scenarios like that. Then we're gonna go into like what if the guy grabs you from behind or something? You know, mm -hmm. we want to deal with all those standing scenarios. Gotcha. And now the next class would be like, okay, now you're on the ground. Right. Then right. Side so, mount, I mean, it's, top mount, whatever. It's it's structured to mirror what a fight. What a fight would like. be like, and it, it's gonna gotcha. take several months to get through it. But I think that even yeah. if we ran it for six months, I mean, if you think about it, that's only six. That's only what, how four many classes? classes that's four so classes a week. Classes total. It's twenty four. That's that's plenty, right? Yep. And then it just resets itself. So there all the go. new people will get a chance to jump on it. Gotcha. Again. gotcha. I want everybody in our school to be proficient. At I agree. So you know what? Here's here's another thing, right? So I had I was talking to you offline. Um, Hassett, he actually has, like I said, that combatives program, and there's a combatives belt system. I gotta go double check to see exactly how it works, but it's from. You know, you come in as a white belt, uh, but if you're in his combatives program, you then get a white blue belt. It's like it, it's one of the, you know, it's a regular thickness belt, but split down the middle where half of it's white, half of it's blue. And so, what do you, you just wear two belts? It, it, no, it's one belt, but it's no. Like, but what if you're like a? No, oh, you're you, saying you, that's uh, that's still technically in the white belt range. Oh, okay. it, you know what? Honestly, that's like the kids. I think belt it's like the ki it's closer to the I idea like of the kids belt. I I understand. I yeah. I, you go too far. Strokes for different folks, right? <laughs> you know, I'm. Yeah. I, I want to actually. I got to talk to him and see what exactly whether or not you have to take the combatives see, course or whether you know it's I, it's an optional thing. I thought you were saying, like, you had your regular jiu-jitsu guys, you know, blue, purple, brown, black, whatever. Right. But then you had this other guy that just wanted to learn no, combatives. He no, didn't want no, to do no, any no. sport. Oh, it's no, not that. It's, is, everybody gets is, that. This is a progression to. Oh, he's making up belt. his own rules, man. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, shout out to Hassan, but, but again, yo. I don't, Well, no, because the Gracie Combatives has combatives belts, too. They do? Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I got to, there's like. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I, I don't what? know. I don't know that it's I don't think you need a belt. That's silly, because you don't need a belt at that. Like the, to me, that's but a it's prerequisite. A, you know what it is? It, it's a, it, it's almost a stripe. It's a basically a stripe, right? <laughs> it's, that's it's, right. A, it's like a Thank stripe, you. right? It's freaking it's like stripe, stripe, dude. That's all it is. But I, again, I don't know if it's a full program or not. I, I, I'm gonna have to call him after this and say, "Yo, is this a whole damn program?" No, I wouldn't. Going, I wouldn't have a problem with it. It's like in order to get your blue belt, you have to have at least mm -hmm. gone through that. That's fine. Well, and that's I, I think that's and that what should it is. be like you said. Maybe right. that's I think a four struck guy, and it's basically the equivalent. Reflex that he's done it, right? Yeah, I like the stripe better than the belt. That's yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. You know, you go too hey, far. Man, some people like some people like you know that recognition. Yeah, you know, yeah. They want they want something more tangible over and over and over again. I get it. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but so, what about uh, everybody else? Do you think like? Do you think everybody's teaching? I, I, I mean, you we know, know I don't everybody's know, dude. not teaching. I think it depends on the school. Yeah. Like, like, I know that's an obvious statement, like a little, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but <laughs> like, I wonder no, how <laughs> many, like how many of you guys out there teach combatives let, at your school? Like, let, that's a, that's a serious question. Let me rephrase that. Yeah. I got to fix that. That was a bad blunder. Huh? What I meant to say was it depends on like the lineage of the school. 
right? If you're from an old school, like an old, like a greasy something, you're probably going to definitely have some of those combatives. Okay. But if you're from a new modern school okay. that does a lot of sport competitions, I don't know if they do, man. I wouldn't be surprised I, if they don't. I would tend to You agree might go with straight you. into freaking ninja rolls for all I know. I would tend to agree with you on that yeah. one. You're right. If you... Yeah, I mean, because now we talked about that before too, right? The the years of separation between that first, second, third generation type jujitsu. But damn, is jujitsu so new school that they don't even teach you how to? I don't know, dude. How to avoid getting I, punched? I, I I don't know. Like it, like let's take like a tenth planet. Do they teach a lot of combatives? Combatives? Are they teaching a lot of leg locks? Right? We got to talk to Randy. Oh yeah, Randy will know you. Yeah, we gotta talk to Randy. Randy. Put in the comments. Yeah, Randy, you know, shit. Answer our question. They just teach out heel hooking. <laughs> so yeah, so what do know, you do? Dude. So are you guys teaching combatives out there? Are uh, how many have joined jujitsu and never learned how to avoid a haymaker? Yeah, like, I would. How many yeah. have never never learned how to do this one right here? It's very simple, right? Cover up. Yep. Get in close. Shoot. Tie them up yeah. and then take them down. Like, That's a good one, yeah. Yeah. Or, or the But old I like school. the other one. That one's better. The underhook one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, That's a, a great one. move. I, I thought it was a good one. We cannot disclose that. <laughs> so what you about, come what about the night. old Boyce Gracie, uh, the soft kick? Soft, soft kick to a little double leg. He like kind of kicks Side the leg. Dude, yeah. And then he shoots it. That's in. actually really – that's a good one, man. <laughs> it is, but it's like <laughs> so old school, right? But like a guy that doesn't know – he's not trained in anything? Yeah. It's on, It's a matter – It's it's to keep distance. It's to make sure that he's not close enough to punch you in your face. You're kind of just, it's a push kick. Yeah. It's not even its not even meant to do any damage, you know? It's just to gauge where you're at because you know if your foot can touch him, you should be able to kind of like double leg in. An untrained guy won't even be standing right. He'll be standing just flat-footed, two feet, oh, yeah. same, right in front of him, probably his chest sticking all out, yep. right? That's what it's going to be Talking like. Talking shit, hell yeah. Yeah. But you know what, man? I think, I think, Harold, if you look at a school that does a lot of competitions and they're deep into it, uh -huh. so just looking at it anecdotally, where, where would the self-defense fit in? I don't think it, it would really. Yeah, like, what, what would be their incentive for doing that if they're strictly doing, if they're, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying it's good or bad. It just, I'm just saying it, what it is. Well, you know, that's where we go with, I mean, remember a long time ago we talked about, is it a martial art or is it a sport? You know, I mean, technically it's both. It's both, yeah. But think about this. Here's, here's what happened with judo, right? Judo was a martial art. Judo changed so many times and they took so much stuff out of the sporting aspect of it because they actually took away some of the effective things from judo because mm -hmm. they're like oh that, that shit's too dangerous you can get hurt you can oh, get you're hurt right. you're right it's not good by for design sport. and it's legit right yeah. it was designed to fucking hurt yeah. you yeah but you can't do that yeah right and i mean hell a couple weeks ago you talked about scissor fucking takedown oh yeah right? <laughs> scissor, the scissor yeah. takedown it's probably not the best sport move, yeah. right? But damn, you scissor take down a fool out in the street, you probably won the fight instantly. Yeah. Damn, they might try to see. That's you. ugly. <laughs> but yeah, so is is jujitsu kind of getting watered down in that aspect? Like, what are your thoughts? Like, I mean, it's it, it's is it it's, as an effective martial art? If you start taking all this shit away, or if you just, or if you start putting things in that are so specific to only fighting another jujitsu person, that's what happens. Like you end up fighting another jujitsu guy, and your jujitsu's canceling each other's out. Yeah, and you're coming up with these fancy moves to try to, you know, outdo this guy's. Yep. I don't know, man, but I will say this: a good sport guy will get your back in a second. So that that's something that will never go away. That yes. that Montelion is is the king of all submissions. That's it. So I would think that if a fight got to the ground, you had a really high level sport guy. He would have no problem, no problem at all, like getting a mount on you or, or getting your back. You so know. okay, so I think it's still good. You know, I don't think I, it. Yeah, I don't. I don't take away from that. Right, a sports guy is still probably so better dangerous. off than oh an untrained God. fighter. That's an understatement of the year. <laughs> <laughs> That's as bad as me saying it depends on the school. <laughs> but <laughs> what's wrong with us well, today? I, I guess, but but that's not taking into account. Just a fucking loose punch. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's you know what I mean? It's like, first of all, most jujitsu guys are not great at takedowns. That's just not their thing. So now Correct. let's say, you know, let's say you're a sports guy. Your shit is you pull guard. You're about to fight this guy. He's all drunk up at the bar. He's like, hey, what's up? Uh, punk, uh, blah, 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 whatever. He gets up. He's coming at you. Now you're like, oh, shit. Something's about to happen. You gonna sit on your ass? 
you know what I mean? You're going to sit down and you're like, oh, shit, you start butt scooting towards him? Or do you rush in, you try to grab his T-shirt and, and start to sit down and pull him into your guard so you can hit a sweep? Maybe that'll work, but maybe he'll just punch you right in your face. Yeah, but I would say this too, though, with the explosion of no gi, it's like no gi is like proliferated, right? Okay, right? all right. So, so now I think even with no gi, let's say they, he's a no gi guy, right? But and they're actually getting better at takedowns now. So I don't know if because you are right, they would just say that jujitsu guys suck at takedowns. I don't know if I'd even okay. say that anymore. I think they're they're decent. Like, what are you comparing it to a wrestler? Then yeah, I would say yeah, maybe yeah. you might have some point. But a jujitsu guy, especially a no gi guy, bro, they're good. At, they know takedowns. They'll get you down, especially if it's a guy that's not trained. Right. They're going to yeah, take you down. For sure. They can take his legs from under him. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But do they do it in a way that is protecting that their hides face? Your face? No, they're probably not. And that's no. what I'm saying. I, I would agree with that. You can be getting surprised. Yes. Not, and you still see a guy's face, so you punch it. Correct. You know? They're not looking out for yeah, legs and right. you know, wild haymakers and all that. Damn, T. <clears throat> I wish we could like just like. AI some scenarios where you could just know, say, huh? man, I'd like take a, a actual virtual model of one guy and slick, throw huh? him against a, like some, a, a, some a, drunk a thousand asshole. fights. Yeah. How many times does he and take just, him down? There's right. got to be a way to do how that. How many times does he get knocked out versus how many times he gets the takedown and the choke out? There's got to be a way to do that. <sighs> well, I got to start freaking becoming a you have to create this, or this uh, AI generated black belt. <laughs> All right. Anybody know how to freaking program? That would be sick. Hit us <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. programmers out there some engineers it's gotta be it's gotta yeah. be so all right so we're gonna do it though we're gonna freaking we're gonna keep this damn uh combatives thing going for a while okay so here's my next question so yeah. friday should we go back to do we I know we go back and forth but, but uh, should we go no gi because we're doing just self-defense so yes yes because a lot of guys are gonna say oh well, if you have clothes they're gonna grab it so well what you, but that's the next thing See, because I've mentioned this before too. Occasionally, I'm going to have people show up in jeans and a hoodie, because that's not a, a gi. Real, Let's not do gi. Not a gi. Yeah, not a gi, but jeans and a hoodie. And it's going to be, hey, jeans and a hoodie that you don't mind getting destroyed. I like so it. So we'll all go to all go to Goodwill and get something that's uh, so that's expendable. So maybe we'll run through this whole course. And like the last couple weeks, we'll do yep. we'll bring the clothes in. Let's yeah. okay. Now let's see how yeah. because they, yeah, because really, I mean, you're. Your hoodie can damn sure use oh, the choke you. Choke out, you know yeah. what I mean? So, <laughs> like this right here is a thick one too. This yeah, is like a those, key. Oh man, those thick hoodies. Psh. So that's where this it's is like, not really okay, good to wear. Now you got your combatives, and you tie it in with the jujitsu <clears throat> that you do know, and you figure out what you can do to to leverage all of it at the same time, you know, and make it happen. But I like it. I, I like, like it too. Because like, we're still going to be ninety percent of what we do is sport jujitsu, right? Ten yeah. percent just to keep your little, you know, your little knives sharp. I think that's. That's going to be a good thing. That's the move, right. man. It's better That's to do it than move. just to never, ever, ever do it. Like, how could you, how could that be a good thing? Just to never practice. Agreed. And like I said, practice a little if bit. You, if you I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Had some hands getting thrown at you yeah. while you're trying to do something. It, you, you'll see. Like, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's like I am in a way because I want to get better at that. Yeah. That's why. But I know that the other stuff is still fun. It's way more fun. fun. Dude, listen. Like, I'm not going to be trying to leg lock anybody. You know, that, like, uh, none of that stuff. I would have stayed with jujitsu. Like, I wouldn't have stayed 23 years doing jujitsu if all we did was freaking combative. Some guy like, slapping in the face, like, bossing yeah, guy smacking me in the damn face. Valley Tudo. I ain't trying like, to go uh, that. I'm like, this is not for me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's I, like, I would have <laughs> took an MMA class. Yeah. You're right. And it's like, now, MMA guys, see, that's a whole different fucking story, right? I think they're ready for, they're ready for a street fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I ain't trying to get all smacked up every day. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I, I ain't gonna lie. When when John was like, "All right, we're doing combatives. Show up. We're gonna have your jeans and a freaking sweatshirt, and we're putting the gloves on." And I was like, "Fuck," because there was always like all these karate guys and shit in the class, and they would let them do whatever the hell they know how to do. Dudes would be throwing like I remember. I think I told you before. I got axe kicked into my fucking clavicle. Yeah, I ain't trying shit. to do all that. No, I'm I ain't like, doing dude, all that. I was like, it's not that serious, man. You yeah, just I ain't trying, trying to, to kill me. I want to simulate some light scenarios, but Correct. not. Correct. Like, could you imagine if we that. said, okay, everybody do whatever you know, and Uso does like a fucking spinning yeah, back yeah, and kicks a guy's head Because, like, the whole, the whole scenario is supposed to be a guy that's untrained. We're Correct. not supposed to be trying to fight some other trained guy. So that was actually difficult for some of these guys to turn that off the switch right i had to correct so many people that one friday i was like listen oh you're right because they were trying to defend like, the takedown and do i was this. like dude i'm like 
you're just some knucklehead. You don't know shit. Like he's he was like in a fighting stance. He's all oh like, yeah, no, dude. <laughs> you're just some drunk knucklehead. Yeah, he jumped up. Oh, you want a piece of me? And you walk towards him. I was like, I was like, no, you're not getting ready to grapple. This is yeah. not the start of the Abu Dhabi. So maybe I have to make sure I stress that more at the beginning. Definitely, before we, definitely. Yeah, gotta give everybody a talking to. Yeah, but. Everybody loved the class, though. It was a good class. Dude, everybody was, like, super happy at the end. I was like, cool, man. I was like, I, I feel good. I like it when you like it. That's, that's yeah. good shit. It makes me want to keep teaching. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what else are we going to talk about? I mean, it's combatives. People, tell us if you do combatives. Tell us if you don't. Tell us if you've never done any kind of Gracie combatives. And yeah. You, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm really curious to see what the schools are doing, like, if they've kind of forgotten about it. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's a conscious decision like we are against combatives. It's not that. I think they, you just get involved in the next competition, the next one. And it does take a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, thought to put together the curriculums for the sport jiu-jitsu. And they just kind of – it goes to the wayside, the sport. It yeah. just – it's on the back burner, you know. Well, I mean, really, your moneymaker, it's sports. It's sport, yeah. So I don't blame them, man. I, yeah, I get it. Man. Yeah, because there's always been like we'll do it and then maybe – It'll run for a few months, and then maybe it just kind of wanes off. Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> so maybe this would be a, a different version to make it stick where it's just one day. Right. Just one something. day, and it, yeah. One yeah. day a week. Friday's a day that's not really taken away from other classes, too. It's like, you know. I agree. It's like a bonus day. A lot of schools don't even have, Our Fridays are sick, dude. dude. We had, man. Oh, wait. No, wait, what wait, happened. Wait, I know. No, wait. Yo, All our right, Fridays so are we'll sick. Give, you I'll give admit. a light, it's light like a description party. because, remember, he wants to do it again. Oh, you're right, you're right. He, right. he wants us to throw it you're on, right, the, you're on, right. on the uh, you're right. podcast. But, yeah. <clears throat> dude, we turned the freaking place into a club. It was crazy, dude. It's like, it was, we did our yeah. combatives. We had freaking, we had some music and shit going on. We'll save it. Once we, yeah, we'll once we do let's the save, next let's one. Let's save it. Yeah, I but our Fridays are some video. That shit. Our Fridays like, are like unpredictable, man. It could be, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know who's gonna show up, man. We had a whole school show up one like time. Fucking club. <laughs> we got infinite. Dojo Storm. Hell yeah, you got a fucking club infinite up in there, and it's just like boom, boom, boom. Hell yeah, good shit, good yeah. shit. All right, well, I think that's really all we got. We just want to throw some stuff out there, do more combatives. If you guys have been straying <clears> away from it, remember what jujitsu all started for. So if you're yep. like an instructor or something out there. Make sure you, you know, sprinkle that shit in there. Sprinkle it in a little sprinkle bit. Sprinkle in a little bit. Sprinkle a little something on them. <laughs> no, that's that's, the, that's Bill Cosby. You can't do that. Yeah, I know. That's, that's a, bad. That's a different one. But you got to sprinkle it like this. Bay. No, the salt This is salt bay, bay but yeah. yeah, but it's yeah. still. <laughs> you got to sprinkle it. It's tied to Bill Cosby. Hell yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> it's just get in there, teach these people some shit that could actually save them if they get punched in the face. You know? Yeah. yeah. Cool. A2, I want to shout out our guys, man, at Infinite. Who because uh, for our, our rash guards, oh. man, that went really well. And I really, man, you guys uh, at the school, I really appreciate all you guys. I mean, we did a lot of lot of uh, units. Got a big order. I'm going to be putting that order in on Wednesday. So I really appreciate the support, you guys. It means a lot to me. And what's funny is that when uh, – who was maybe the that school ground up jujitsu? Yeah, yeah. Well, they had a little bit to do with it in the sense that when they came in, they were all uniformed up. Remember that podcast yeah, we like did? Cobra Kai or some I'm shit. I'm like, damn, these guys are good, dude. That was sharp. <laughs> Harold, we got to get our rash guards going. So they kind of, yeah. there was a little motivation behind, we, we were going to do it, but that like lit the fire. Like, yeah, yeah. let's get our freaking rash guards going. But did I post a picture of the rash guard? You did. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. did. It looks good. They look really good. So and I'm happy, man. We have a lot of orders more than I thought we'd actually get. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about that. And hopefully we'll get them like the first week of December. They take a little bit of time, you know, yeah, to do man. these custom orders, yeah, but right they're going to be sick. For Christmas. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, that's it. That's all I got, man. If you guys like the video, man, definitely hit the like, subscribe, share, Hell spread yeah. the love. Spr yeah, right. Spr <laughs> sprinkling those combatives. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, man. Do you. that shit because combatives should be important. And if it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. You'll be like, ah, oh, you know. I guess I, I was about to say something that would have got me in trouble. You, <laughs> you're like, I can't do it because it hurts too much or yeah. something like that. Anyway. Don't be a punk. Do some freaking combatives. Do combatives. Hell yeah. All right, All right you guys. We'll check you out next week. Us. Us.